Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. I'm Todd Macon. This was formerly Film Camera Obsession, now it's going by my name. I think it's still a handle or tag or something like that. But first of all, thank you. I just hit 1,000 subscribers. That's a big K underneath the channel name. That's great. And though that might not seem like the hugest number to a lot of influencers and other photography channels, I'm proud of it and here's why. Everyone's been so friendly. Everything's been great. People leave kind comments, they share their passions, their questions, their tips. I'm very grateful for the film camera community and for the fun I'm having with this channel. So if you haven't hit subscribe, please do so. Let's hang out. Check out some other videos. After subscribing, watch the entire video because at the end of the video I have a challenge for you. I wanted to share with you one of my favorite photographic moments of 2022. Last summer, I was able to take my daughter up to Denver to Coors Field to see The Lumineers in concert. It was a fantastic show. It was really good. And I got a wild, crazy idea that I wanted to photograph this concert with a film camera. And not only that, I wanted to keep it low impact. So I brought my Kodak Retina 3C circa 1959 and it's a range finder with a 50 millimeter lens that's crazy but you can afford to be crazy if you got a little luck and so we couldn't afford to be right up against the stage but we took standing room only and we positioned ourselves after getting there early right in front of a catwalk and fortunately for us the band came out on this catwalk and played half the show 10 feet away from us. Well, here, it's best to show you. Yeah, I was geeked out. And that made it possible to use this camera. I knew that I was getting good shots. I was having a ball. I was winding and clicking away in a sea of uh, iPhones with blue screens. And here's a little old rangefinder camera in me. It made it kind of fun. Now, I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out. I was really excited to get these rolls of film home, develop them, and see what happened. Here's my roll of Kodak 400 from the Lumineers concert. And we're gonna put it in uh, our chemical bath. I've got my C41 warming up right now. And it'll be awesome. I'm really excited for this. Hopefully this comes out. Oh my gosh. Gonna shot this with that Kodak Retina at the Lumineers concert in Denver. Huge concert. And I was, oh my gosh, we were right underneath the guys. So hopefully, um, these images come out because if they do they're going to be epic and if they don't then it was an epic fail which is I guess how it goes with film this is going to be fun I'm excited I'm so excited okay I got the pictures developed scanned and here are the final results pretty proud of them what do you think <laughs>
I think these pictures do the Lumineers justice. They look great. And I had a lot of fun taking these pictures. Now, could I have done that with my iPhone? Sure. Could I have taken uh, my digital camera with a bigger lens and maybe even got a little closer? Sure. But there's something about the challenge of shooting film at a live music show that I wholeheartedly embrace and I'm really happy with. Music and musicians make great content. So my challenge is that you go out wherever you are and find some live music. It could be a busk around the street, it could be in a small bar, it could be a big show. But I want you to take a film camera and photograph some music. My advice is to have it be music that you really enjoy and get as close as you can. So get out there and once you have your pictures developed, please share them with me. And you can tag me on my Instagram at ToddMakingPhoto. Uh, you can leave a comment here and let me know how it goes because I'd sure like to see them. I've done this before and I've done this also with uh, that Retina 3C and some other cameras. And if you want to see more of my music photos, please go to my website, toddmakin.com. Go to my portfolio, and under music, you might see more of the Lumineers, pictures of Reverend Horton Heat, fabulous Shack Shakers, and some jazz musicians in New Orleans. Very fun. I'm Todd Makin. Again, thank you for 1,000 subscribers. Thank you for being with me here and enjoying this pastime, this hobby, this passion together. Take care. I think this is a good moment to pause and say thank you to the Lumineers, not only for the great music, but for the great show. You guys deserve it. You're great. I hope you like the photos. If so, let me know. You can work something out. By the way, my kid loves you. Bye, you know special 10th anniversary galaxy wax i didn't even know what galaxy wax was until i got this sounds pretty good made a stardust rock and roll analog camera that could be better